Hello there, this is Jack T. Herbert, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Now, we're just going to finish off the Treasure Trove Cove level. So, I just need to get two more jiggies, I think. I think it was two. Um, is it two? Yes, it's two. And one of them, I believe, was the one over here. Wait a minute, is it. Why am I struggling to remember which ones I've done already? Wow. Good job, me. Oh, I know where they are. I've got it, I've got it. So there's one where I need to do a whole bunch of flying stuff, but that one will be done afterwards because the other one can be done down here. I'm so organized. The most organization has been put into this, yes. Okay, around here I believe there is boxes. And over these boxes is, well, not in the water. Up here there is, oh, come on, don't. Uh oh, shark. Hey, snacker, piss off. I don't want your, fuck, no. That is, oh, bloody hell. Hey, Snacker, have some eggs in your face. Oh, I completely missed. Oh, well. Okay, let's try actually doing the flip-flap jump to get, there we go. More eggs. And there is the jiggy that I was speaking of. That's what I need. There's one more jiggy, but there is also two honeycomb pieces in this level. One of which, you might think I'm suicidal for going down here, in the water. Oh god! Uh, no! Stay away! Shit, 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 shit. There is an empty honeycomb piece round the corner, and the shark is trying to bite my feet off. I don't appreciate that, friend. Not friend. Enemy. Oh god, no! Ow, you bummed. Bummed? Wow, really? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so there is one more... There is one more empty honeycomb piece, but there is also one more jiggy, and there is also six more notes. I know where they, I roughly know where they all are. I'm not entirely sure where the honeycomb piece is, but it's somewhere slightly out to sea, so I'm gonna kind of like fly around towards the edge to see if I can spot it. And over here we have Shark Food Island, which if you were playing the Xbox version and also have Banjo Tooie, that's not the. That's an extra life. Uh, you can actually make that a cave and do the whole swap, stop and swap thing. Unfortunately, this is not the Xbox version, so that's going to remain closed. Now, where is this thing? Aha, here it is. Let's grab, try and fly and grab this thing. There we go. Now I can just fly over to this platform over here. I don't want to miss any notes, so... Aha! Come on, notes. There we go. Aha! Okay, that's all the notes. Every single note in the level. You've found all 100 notes in the world! Well done. Thank you, Mr. Bottles. Now, just for me to... Hey, look! It's an X marks the spot. So, ground pound the X marks the spot, and it's telling me to go this way. Follow the clothes if you're looking for gold. I don't even know what I'm doing with these voices. Maybe I shouldn't. Fuck it! Oh well. Now we just simply fly around following the arrows to each of the X's and then prize is given and if you haven't figured out what the prize is then I don't know it's a jiggy obviously ground pound there you go and then the flyer oh god camera's messing up I'm sorry, but I really can't get enough of the music. Like, Grant Kirkhope is pos is like definitely like my favourite video game composer. Like, I'd say probably tied with Simon Vickland, but but like it's just so good. Like, ah, <laughs> yes, that that is the noise that I made. Now this one, as a as a as a kid, really really got me. You hit it and what? What? Where do I go? Where do I go? And obviously I just went around looking. But if you turn the camera... Oh. Oh. It's right down here. Hey, die. And then you get this one and... Hey, look! Treasure! Yikes, please open me gently. But I can't. I'm just gonna, like, destroy you. And get the last jiggy. I believe that... Yeah, that's all the jiggies. Duh. Duh. And that means I can now leave the level without any fear of missing anything. Hey, yum yum. Oh, oof, I thought I almost got killed. Not killed, but hurt by him. Um. OK, 
Okay, now if I head down here, I can get to the exit of the level and proceed to doing the stuff in the overall that now needs to be done. So, wow, your best note score for this world is now 100 because I am awesome at this game. Like, I don't know if you, if you uh, follow me on Tumblr, you might have seen that, like, quite recently. I did a playthrough of this game just on the N64, just like, for the hell of it. And, like, I got through the entire game in seven hours. It was uh, actually really fun to do, so, yeah. I, I like to think I am fairly good at this, this game. I wouldn't say I'm the best, but, you know, I can manage it. <laughs> anyway. So that's that jiggy. Now if we come along here, up here, if I kill this guy and enter this tube here, there is a cauldron. I don't think I've explained the cauldrons yet, so maybe I'll just kill this guy. Basically, okay, you've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same color to create a shortcut. Yeah, basically, if you find... Oh, you can broken token? If you find two cauldrons that are the same colour, and you activate them both, then you actually are able to tran uh, like teleport between the two. It's, it's quite useful for getting around quickly. Now, if I head back down here, now that I have the shock jump ability, I'm able to reach this painting up here for Clanker's Cavern, which is the next level, which maybe we'll go into... Oh. I don't like stairs much in my lair. They always make me gasp for air. I love Gruntilda's rhymes, they're always just so silly. That's how you do it. Which opens the grate into... Clanker's Cavern. Cool. Do, 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 do. Also, one thing I, I missed down... Oh god. Whoa! Yeah, bugger, I've got hit by the gruntling. There we go. Give me... There we go. Now, I've, I missed something down here. Nothing key is... Oh, look, it's a cauldron. Let's activate the cauldron. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same colour to create a shortcut. There's also an Ekan Bokum token behind there, which I completely forgot about. So, that's collected now, so we can head back up here. Sorry, I need to stop just going with the music, but I just like it too much. Ugh. Okay, now up up here is where we will find the Clank's Cavern. Yep, through here there is a there is some water, so I can't really get there. However, if you look down here, there is a button which you hit to raise platforms. Which makes it easy, because then you just float on across. Like so. There's also another button over here, which I will now proceed to hit. And there it goes. Now, Clanker's Cavern is right here, but I have a couple of other things I would like to do before I enter Clanker's Cavern, because, I don't know, I just feel like doing them first. So, I am going to head back to Banjo's house. So, I will see you when I get to there. Okay, and we're back at Banjo's house. You might be wondering, what the hell am I doing back at Banjo's house? Well, back here there is a secret mini-game. It's not too secret, but it's considered a secret, I guess. So, basically, you see a bottle's picture up here. You look at the bottle's picture and... Well, hey, you found my secret moving picture game. Complete this puzzle and you can win a mystery prize. Better be good, soil brain. Do I get some new moves? Uh, maybe. Now watch this. And basically, it's... It's a puzzle. Like so. And you just have to complete the puzzle. Use the control stick to move Banjo's hand. Press A to pick up and put down the pieces. B to return them to the side or the left. And right C buttons to rotate them. So basically you have to complete this moving picture like so. It's quite simple. Yep, yeah, it's pretty simple. You just like fi find the, the matching pieces. Attach them. That's the wrong place. That's also the wrong place. It's up here, isn't it? Oh god, I'm so bad at this. I, I find it easier to just like put pieces randomly around, just rush it. It gets harder as you go along because there's like more levels. But basically, this is going to unlock you the aforementioned cheat codes for like some special stuff, which I wanted to show off. So, 
I, I, I think I'll do th this particular puzzle on camera. The rest I'll probably just do do off screen simply because they're not too entertaining to watch, I suppose. So I'll just get them all, all skipped. One thing I will mention though, if you are playing the Xbox version of this game, do not do these puzzles until you have 100% completed Mad Monster Mansion. I'm telling you this right now. That's the game breaking bug I was talking about before. Listen carefully and I'll tell you. Use the tiles on the floor of the sandcastle in Treasure Trove Cove to spell the word Bottles Bonus 1. Go give it a try. So yes, that's how you get the cheats. Now there are, I believe, six or seven what, uh, games for this, so I am going to just do it, complete them all off screen and be back when I do. That's level two complete. And that's level three complete. Bonus, bonus, uh, bottles, bonus three for that one. And that is level four complete. Easy, huh? You can now go and see what the word bottles bonus four does. I wonder what the next cheat's gonna be. <gasps> and that is level five done. Cool, I'm impressed. Go and try bottles bonus five. <gasps> I would never would have guessed that was the code. What's the next one? Bottles bonus six. Spoiler alert, it's not. Just one more level left, guys. Now, this one is the reason why I said if you're on the Xbox version, do not play this one. Basically, in this video here that he's playing through, he collects four notes. Now, the way the Xbox version differs, like I mentioned before, on the Xbox version, the notes are collected rather than saved. So when you collect a note, it disappears and it adds it to your score. Now, there are four notes in he collects in the video if you if he collects them in the video, it actually counts as you collecting them, but it doesn't add them to your score. Therefore, you'll never be able to reach 100%. I encountered this bug when I like replayed this on the Xbox, and it got really annoying because I spent ages looking for those four notes on the level, and they're not there. Completely gone. So, just a little bit of advice: don't do this until you've completed actually completed Mad Monster Mansion. And that is level 6 done. Well, I didn't think anyone would do that one. Well done. Here's your last prize. It's Big Bottles Bonus. Now, he says it's the last one. Uh, I've got no more games left for you to play now. Really? Ha! Fooled you. I've got one really special prize left. Let's see you do this one, Featherface. I'm ready, goggle eyes. Okay, here we go. And now I'll do this one. And that is the last challenge complete. Hey, you must have cheated to do that. No way, Boxler, but I have the special prize. Oh, very well. Enter the code Wishy Washy Bando for some good, clean fun. Now, that is actually hilarious for what happens. So, uh, I will see you in the Treasure Trove Cove thing in the next episode for finding out what these codes all do. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.